Hey, what's going on future Netrunners? There's been a ton of new information released on Cyberpunk 2077 in the last couple of days. So today I want to do a recap of all of it. This includes information on player life paths and skills, an absurd amount of decisions leading to countless branching stories, corrupt police and a wanted system, acid rain and other environmental hazards in a dynamic world, a hardcore mode without UI, and even Ubisoft comments on the colossal titan that Cyberpunk 2077 is shaping up to be. Okay, with that said, let's jump right into all the news. When talking to GamesRadar, the lead quest designer of Cyberpunk 2077 mentioned how Cyberpunk will give you way more choices about your character and world compared to what was seen in The Witcher 3. He described how this begins in character creation and will continue throughout your time in Night City, and touched on player skills by stating, This time around, we have a big variety of different skills that players can modify as they develop their character throughout the game and in turn, they can use these skills to discover different paths through the levels, to discover different options and quests. On top of that, we also have these things called life paths, which are the origins of our character that we choose at the beginning of the game when we create the character. So for example, you might imagine that if you're a street kid, you have an easier time talking to different gangs. Or if you're a corporate, you might have an advantage over people from corporations, since you know how they think and how they operate. This to me sounds very Mass Effect style, where you pick a character backstory, except here it sounds like it's being taken up quite a few notches. As instead of just being character info, this will affect some of your early character gameplay, in terms of how others perceive and react to you. And these are just the story decisions you make up front. There's plenty of room for the story to branch later, based on choices you make in the moment, including how you react to corrupt law officials. Which leads us into our next little bit of info. Cyberpunk 2077's UI coordinator revealed that similar to open world games such as the GTA franchise, that the game will indeed have a wanted system that will catch up to players trying to terrorize NPCs. However, there's a rather neat cyberpunk twist here, as the police system of Night City is actually quite corrupt, and will do things such as take bribes, both from you the player and other NPCs in the game. This was discussed by Lou in a live interview with WCCF Tech, who explained that the police force is up for hire in a sense, and that some parts of the law enforcement group are working for specific corporations. Mr. Liu then explained that the entire city is people who are always trying to get one up on one another, so you should never feel safe when interacting with government officials. Moving on from NPCs and story details, is some new information that is sure to appease fans of incredibly detailed open worlds. In the same interview, Mr. Liu discussed that the dynamic weather system of The Witcher 3 is making its way into Cyberpunk 2077, but it will be much more hazardous this time around, and will affect the world on a much larger scale, when he stated, Yeah, we've got acid rain as well. Night City is a very polluted city, and we're also exploring that kind of stuff, pollution and global warming and everything. Generally, we're trying to make the NPCs very believable. We want it to feel like this is a world where people actually live in, which would make players want to spend time in the world as well. If you follow someone for 15 hours, you might do the same thing repeated a few times, but we're trying to make them do interesting stuff. Again, I think the best comparison would be Novigrad from The Witcher 3. So from this, it sounds like the weather systems in the game are going to be something truly rare in gaming, in the sense that it too is another obstacle that players will have to be aware of. Outside of the revamped weather system, it also sounds like they want this world to feel as alive as possible, and make it seem like the NPCs are not in the world simply for the players to interact with, but rather going about their own lives and trying to survive in this dangerous and twisted world that CD Projekt Red has crafted. Moreover, if you want to be even more engrossed in this world by limiting your UI, and you are a fan of the realism of The Witcher 3 difficulty Death March, well then it sounds like CDPR has got you covered. Mr. Liu also states that Cyberpunk 2077 will have a wide range of difficulties in the game, including one that completely disables the user interface for people that like a challenge. He explains this and even how certain difficulties will be tailored for a wide variety of players in the game, by stating, The most fun one I think will be the hardcore setting, where we turn off the UI, and that'll be a real challenge for a lot of players. Also at the same time, if you want to play more casually for the story, and maybe you're not experienced with shooters, which is a real big concern for us, we want to tell a story, and maybe you're a big fan of The Witcher, and you're not comfortable playing a shooter, we have settings available for that. We even have weapons for that. If you recall from last year's demo, we had a weapon called the Smart Gun, which helps you aim. The bullets were much slower and usually a bit weaker, but if your aiming isn't your forte, you can always pick up the Smart Gun. Well, it seems like no matter what type of game you prefer, Cyberpunk is really trying to accommodate every type of player and cast a wide net. In fact, it seems like some other companies are pretty aware of how this game will be the game of 2020 and take up everyone's free time when it's released on April 16th. Ubisoft held a conference call where executives were asked about one of their big games, Watch Dogs Legion, which I'm also pretty hyped about, and its release in regard to Cyberpunk 2077. Watch Dogs Legion comes out March 6, 2020, which is a little over a month before Cyberpunk 2077 is released on April 16th of the same year. In regard to the question about their confidence in their game's release date, an executive exclaimed, Yeah, 
It's good news that Cyberpunk is not in the quarter. It looks like Cyberpunk 2077 will be next year's Red Dead Redemption 2, and be a game that's big enough to push all the others out of that quarter. And that wraps up this news mock-up of the latest info on Cyberpunk, as well as some of my own interpretations and opinions on it. But I want to know what you all make of this news as well. Are you excited about the branching stories, corrupt government and law officials, dynamic world and weather systems, or the hardcore difficulty and its non-UI edition? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you like this video and you want to see more like it, be sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you all on the next Shepard Gaming video. Keyless Alive.